Uh, well, thanks for tuning in to today's video. We're doing the five day forecast today. We've got a uh, radar pitch from UK Met Office, charts from weathercentral.d and the weatheroutlook.com. You can find the links to all three of those websites on my links page. I'm just going to get straight on with it because I'm a bit pushed for time. Uh, this is the radar picture today. We've got heavy rain coming in off the Irish Sea in towards Wales and stretching through into central parts of England as well. That's on an active warm front. It will be producing a lot of rain, I think, for many parts of Ireland, Wales, uh, the Midlands, particularly the North and West Midlands, and eventually up in towards North England and Northern Ireland as well. This is today's synoptic pressure chart. We've got low pressure out to the west of the country, high pressure is to the east bringing in this southwesterly flow uh, it's bringing up increasingly warm and humid air to the south but it's uh, also bringing that warm front uh, which is introducing that warm and humid air but it's also got that heavy rain associated with it so i think for this afternoon we're going to find a very wet picture for much of ireland stretching into wales the midlands uh, parts of lincolnshire eventually getting up in towards north Rhine and northern uh, parts of england as well to the south it's more sort of damp drizzly type conditions not too wet across southern england scotland is going to stay um, largely out of trouble I think uh, today. It's going to turn increasingly warm and humid with temperatures in the south getting up to around 23 or maybe 24 degrees and that's despite having a lot of cloud around but for the rest of the country and about persistent rain quite cool really at just 17 or uh, 18 degrees but of course um, it's going to turn in, or it's going to be feeling increasingly uh, humid and muggy. Now overnight we're going to push out rain northwards in towards Scotland and Northern Ireland. It'll probably die down a bit and turn large and patchy for a time through the night, but then it'll pep up again across Northern Ireland and southwestern Scotland later on in the night. A lot of mist and low cloud as well associated with that um, with that rain. The mist and low cloud will drop down onto uh, any higher elevations, I think, uh, and particularly around the coast and uh, hills of Scotland as well. For England and Wales, we'll keep it on a cloud through the course of the night, but it will dry up, just sort of drizzly conditions. It's going to be a really warm night, like very sultry temperatures, no lower than, say, 17 or 18 degrees in the cities. Uh, even in rural areas, just 14 or 15 degrees as the minimum. So a really, really warm, steamy summer night uh, is likely tonight. Definitely one for uh, getting rid of the duvet. As we move through into Thursday, we're going to uh, find that suddenly wind wafting up across the country. The warm front is getting stuck to the northwest. So I think for northern and western parts of Scotland in particular, it's going to be very wet. Uh, down in southwestern Scotland and northern Ireland as well. Eastern Scotland will probably see the rain coming and going. It perhaps won't be on it all day. If more sort of uh, pulses of rain coming through for the east of Scotland. But certainly in the west of Scotland and in the southwestern Scotland and the northern Ireland, I think you are going to have a very wet day of it uh, tomorrow. Further south, we probably start off with rather a lot of cloud around, but that'll break up very quickly to reveal a lot of sunshine. It's going to be a sunny afternoon. It's going to get hot as well with temperatures up to 30 degrees. That's 86 Fahrenheit across some parts of England where it's another very hot day. In the north of the persistent rain, we're going to temperatures more like 18 or 19, but even there it is going to be quite humid and muggy. A cold front is moving through across the country on Friday. Now it's difficult to say how active that cold front is going to be. I think certainly for the north and west we're going to have outbreaks of rain coming through that will move across the country through the course of the day, turning lighter and patchy for a time. But in the afternoon, as it comes into the hot air in the east, it could start to generate some thunderstorms. I'll have to keep you updated on that over the next few days. Not really sure how active that cold front will be. Eventually, it'll bring cooler, fresher air into the west with sunshine and showers. Temperatures in the east still very warm or hot at around 27 or 28 degrees. But in the west, it will be cooler and fresher with that westerly wind coming in off the Atlantic. Temperatures there are more comfortable 20 or 21. We're all in a cooler, fresher regime as we go through into Saturday. Now, overnight, Friday into Saturday, we could generate some more thunderstorms in the southeast. Or again, it'll be one that I've got to keep you posted on. But for Saturday itself, I think it's not too bad at all, really, for uh, southern parts of the country, England, where it's generally dry and fine. Just a few showers scattered around. Probably quite a windy day, though, for Scotland. We're close to low pressure to the north of Scotland. That'll be feeding in westerly winds, quite strong winds. And they'll be bringing in showers to Scotland, North Ireland, and North Northern England. Temperatures will be several degrees lower across England and Wales on Saturday, but still quite warm at around 24 or 25 degrees. High pressure is building back in again across the south on Sunday, but we've got a rippling uh, weather front to the northwest. I think probably bringing more heavy rain into western Scotland and Northern Ireland through the course of Sunday, where 
spells, but the rest of the country, uh, maybe after a cloudy start, will have good sunny spells coming through. Temperatures again up to around 25 or 26 degrees, really very warm. Then as we move through into uh, Monday, the end of the forecast period, the high pressure is slipping away to the east again. We're bringing another trough in off the Atlantic, so I think it'll probably turn more unsettled on Monday with showers uh, spreading in from the north and west. Some of those could be quite heavy and thundery. Temperatures beginning to lower uh, just a little bit once again. Finally, have a look at the charts for the weather outlook. This is the uh, showery pitch across much of England and Wales today. Showers or longer spells of rain. Not too bad in the far south. Very light and patchy there, but a lot of cloud. But for Wales, Midlands, northern England, eventually to northern Ireland, we are going to have quite a cloudy uh, and wet day. As we move through into Thursday, the rain is all up in the north and the west, but further south we're looking at a good deal of sunshine and hot temperatures. Temperatures peaking at around 30 degrees in the uh, south. We're bringing through a cold front on Friday. This doesn't show it particularly active, but it could bring some uh, thundery showers, scattered showers maybe, to eastern parts of the country. But it'll start to drop the temperatures down, but it's still hot in the east, uh, but it'll be cooler and fresher in the west. We're all in a cooler, fresher region improving to Saturday with showers particularly in the northwest mainly dry in the southeast still warm temperatures in the mid 20s but several degrees lower than they're going to be on Thursday and Friday uh, for Sunday mainly dry actually away from the northwest the northwest will be wet western start north line pulses of rain coming through elsewhere mainly dry temperatures going in the mid 20s I mean it's a more showery picture as we move through into Monday um, with showers breaking out and temperatures lowering down uh, more towards seasonal average as well. So a pretty unsettled period coming up, you have to say, with showers along the spells of rain. It's going to get hot briefly across southern and southeastern parts of the country uh, through Thursday and Friday, but then temperatures will lower into the weekend. And generally quite a showery picture, particularly for the north, not too bad in the southeast. All areas probably turning more unsettled through into next week. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.